Hey guys, it's Lisa and Jeff with Thrive Crafted Vans. We've had some questions lately come in on the Dometic RTX 2000 and um, some of the questions have been, what is the sound level of this machine? So we wanted yep. to address that. Yep, so we decided we'd give you a little bit of um, information. I downloaded a decibel meter and um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on and go through the different modes and show you what the sound levels are. So first we're going to be quiet for a second and then we'll see what the sound level is with, without it running. So we're at about 35 decibels when we're not talking. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick it on just like you would normally start it up. And we'll just have it right here where we're sitting at first. So the fan is kicked on completely, and when I'm not talking, it's right at about 60 decibels. Um, we're gonna, in about a minute, the compressor that's outside on the roof will kick on, and we'll see if that makes any difference in the sound level inside. What it has is it has the fans that blow inside, but the compressor is on the roof out, outside, so that, that it really helps to keep the sound down. We also have our ceiling really well insulated with two inches of Havelock wall, so that should help too. So here comes the compressor. That really didn't make much of a difference. So you can actually feel the compressor kick on, yeah. right? What did it feel like? Just kind of a, a very slow rumble. Yeah, like <laughs> a, a little rumble. hum. Like More a like hum. just a, yeah. a little bit of hum and just a teeny bit of vibration when it first kicks on. But as far as the sound level, it didn't really make a difference. So it's still running right at about 60 decibels right here where we're sitting. So it's interestingly, I just downloaded this app and we turned it on in our car and we have a Lexus RX 2000 of 2021. No, we don't have an RX 2000. <laughs> RX, sorry, that's this. <laughs> it's an RX 350. <laughs> they don't make it. <laughs> yeah. That's a I, new model that nobody knows about. <laughs> yeah. So in our um, Lexus 2021 RX 350 it was 60 decibels right yeah. so it's almost identical so the interior of the, the Lexus with the air conditioner running compared to this yeah now for sleeping I think you would want to tr turn it on eco mode and I yeah. think it's even quieter in eco mode yeah that's the way we run ours when yeah. we're camping in the van yeah. once you get it down to temperature and I've done another video on that and I'll link to it in the description you can run in eco mode and it will do a really good job of maintaining a temperature. It won't drop the temperature a lot if it's hot out, but it will maintain the temperature really well. And so that's how you'd normally do it at night, like Lisa said. Now, one thing, you might hear this and it might sound louder than it really is. And the reason is that I have a shotgun mic on my camera. And so that really takes sound and focuses it in right on the microphone. So if it sounds a little bit loud right now to you, that's probably because of the shotgun mic. But 60 decibels is really just like a fan blowing. Now, in our last van, we had a fantastic roof fan, no air conditioner. And I will say that on high, it was louder than this. Yes. And even on, it had three settings, even on its lowest setting, I would say it wasn't any quieter than this. It was probably pretty similar, but on the high, it was, it was definitely louder than this. Right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kick it down to eco mode and see if that makes any difference in the sound level. You can hear the fan kind of slowing down just a little bit. In eco mode, it does drop it um, a little bit but not much, but it is a little bit quieter. Yep. You can hear the fan just slows down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So okay. if you turn the fan to its lowest setting, it's 50. So we played around with the settings a little bit and found that in eco mode, you could turn the fan down to its lowest setting. And when we did this, the decibel reading was right at about 50, either uh, where you're sitting or in the sleeping area. So we feel like it's really very quiet. We feel like it's kind of like, what would you say? Like white noise that you would sleep with. Yeah, white noise. It really, all you can hear, even though the, the compressor is cycling, um, it's like just a little bit of a, um, of a hum. That's all, the, that's all the compressor adds. But as far, all you really hear in here is the fan, right. just the fan blowing. So I would say it's not 
really any different than a roof fan probably less because the fan isn't going as fast right. the roof fans because that's all you have you don't have any cooling really go fast and they make a pretty loud yes. i remember the first time i turned our fantastic fan on it felt like the whole van was ready to take off like a spaceship it those things make a pretty loud sound so yeah. this i would say is quieter than a regular rooftop fan yeah. which is pretty impressive so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have other questions about these air conditioning units, we're big fans of them. We're putting them in another van right now, and I think we'll continue to put them in all of our fans going forward. Very um, comfortable. Yeah, one thing I have heard people ask, what is the BTU rating? And it's on this RTX 2000, it's 6,800 BTUs. Um, which for such a small space, this is uh, a 144, is about 60 square feet. A 170 is a little bit longer. I don't know the exact square footage. To me, that's plenty. This does a great job of cooling it. We've had it in, you know, temperatures up close to 100 degrees, and it does a great job. Um, and they do now make an RTX 1000. We haven't tested that out. You really only save, um, I think it's about $700 from the 2000 to the 1000. The 1000, I think, is less than half the BTU rating. Um, and doesn't use that much less energy in, in um, eco mode. So to me, I don't really see a benefit to use get the RTX 1000 for the little bit of savings, but losing half of your BTU rating. So I think we'll continue to go with the RTX 2000 and all of our builds until something else comes along, something better comes along. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sounds good. Yep, you have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.